Thank you, Santa. Perfect. All right, it's our turn. It's our turn. Let's go get. Let's go say hi to Santa. Good luck. Let's go. Here, Hazel. You'll be a big girl. Smile. Come on. Come sit down. It's okay. He was nice. Remember last time? Oh. oh. Come on. I'll hold your hand. Come on. Okay, okay, okay. That was a sad thing. Look, oh, look at Rai Rai. Let's go. This is going to be awesome. Oh, come on, Ava. Come on, girls. Let's look on the bright side. Riley just ran right up to Santa this year. I mean, I would have loved for them all to run up there, but it's better than last year. <laughs> I'm not giving up yet. Here we go. Right here. All right, girls, come on. Okay. I was kind of hoping for a little bit more happiness. Hazel, smile, look up. Hey, baby steps, they didn't cry. Hey, we've, we've got progress right here. Hazel, can Santa tell you a secret? Oh, <gasps> oh. Hazel, did you know Santa when Santa was your age, my hair was the same color as yours? It was wow. red. Yes. You're in a white beard too later, Hazel. No, you're not. Give me a high five for there. red hair. There we go. Oh, Can you get a high five? Oh, oh yay. Yay. yay! I mean, I think a happy Riley and a high five from Hazel. I mean, that's a huge contrast from last year. Ah, oh, that's my girl. That's our redhead. High five. Yay! Don't you smile, Hazel. Don't you let us see. <laughs> Love you. Ginger power. Riley, put that in the corner and sit at the table. I don't want this. Don't make mommy have to count. They're just so ridiculously hard to handle. <laughs> I think the move has been hard on everyone, but the quints most of all. Also, this is truly the first time in their lives that they remember what Christmas was like the year before. They got expectations. Play Jingle Bell Rock! Play Jingle Bell Rock! Play Jingle Bell Rock! That's why we have to deliver this year. With all they've been through, it's our best chance of making it feel like home for them. OK, let's find Blake something. Who knows what Blake likes? Yeah. You want to get that for Blake? Mama. What do you have, Parker? I don't hold it. Hey, don't start shoving stuff in those bags, OK? Remember, don't touch. Just look, OK? Mama. Hey, this way. Mama. I know. Hey, those are those are birthday cards that we're doing Christmas presents. Last year, I had Blake buy gifts for her sisters for Christmas. And this year, I wanted to take the quince out and let them each pick a present out for Blake. She's going like this way. Like this. Like this. Yeah. <laughs> I know that they are three and a half, and everything is about me, me, me. But I want them to understand, like, you're picking something out to give to someone else. Mama, I want this one. That's not for you. We shopping for Blake. Hey, Mama. Mama, could I have this? I want this one, too. Hazel, but you got, like, 15 things on right now. We're here for Blake, remember? Yeah. OK, yeah, so idea. everybody gets to pick one thing, OK? What are Blake's favorite toys? Kitty cat. Barbie doll house. Oh, this is cute. Let me see. Oh, Blake actually would like that one. That's a big bag. That's a big bag. That's for Blake. And we can put her name on it. I mean, it's important to me that my kids understand Christmas is not about getting gifts. Riley, Riley, don't open up your bath bomb. Don't open it because it's a gift. I'm doing this. 
Blake's face is gonna light up when she realizes her sister's picked out this bag and all these gifts just for her. Some of it may have been a little bit coaching from me, <laughs> but as they get older, they will enjoy the tradition too. You don't have to cry, okay, Olivia. little birds. Here you go. One. And Parker. That's my bag. Oh. And Parker. That's my bag. Oh. The Quint's Christmas place today, and Blake can't make it because she's at school, but the rest of the family's gonna be there. And the girls have been practicing really hard. I'm about to go down the stairs. You see me go The girls have a proven track record of not doing anything on stage. They look like deer in headlights. But they are a year older now, so maybe this is our year. Hey, who needs socks and shoes on? Mama, I don't want to go to school today. Why? You've been practicing, Rai Rai. Because I don't want to stay at my sick house. Oh, you want to stay at your sick house? Yeah. We've been in this house for a couple weeks now, and the girls are still talking about our old house, and I'm worried it's because that's where they remember Christmas last year. Yeah, and I mean, it doesn't really help that we haven't decorated the tree or put Christmas lights up around the house. And now that I took the last appointment to get my wisdom teeth out before the new year, who knows how that's gonna affect the holidays. I just don't want the girls to feel shortchanged because, I mean, at this age, it's a Christmas that they're gonna remember for the rest of their lives. Come on, we're gonna brush teeth and get to school. Mommy's gonna come home and get ready to go see you. Welcome to the 2018 Christmas program. I don't know why I'm so nervous about a preschool play. <laughs> I mean, with all this practicing they've been doing, they should sound like the Supremes. <laughs> the very first number will be the toddlers coming through. You can probably already hear them out there. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get them in here. Cow, they're singing. I mean, Ava and Riley are. Hazel. Hazel looks like she's kind of having fun. But all in all, they're doing great. It's heartbreaking to see Parker crying on stage. I just want to run up there and hold her. Man, it just seems like all the girls have taken this huge step forward and Parker's just going the other direction. I'm just worried that this may be more than just stage fright. <laughs> 